some biscuit or egg. And then let me stuff in this garlic. Find something. Hi everybody. You may not be able to see me too well. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hi, I'm Lady Red. I've got a uh, podcast going on. I'm still getting it set up. Um, I'm. <sighs> this is my first time doing this, so please be patient with me. Um, I have Facebook. I have TikTok, and I'm fully really learning uh, how to do all this because I would like to have opportunities to do more. But for right now, podcasting is something I'm learning and trying. Learning, trying, I I mean, there's so much out there that I'm trying to learn, and it's um, it's challenging, but it's fun. Yes, my glasses are, you know, but um, I can't see too well with glasses either. But right now, you have to deal with me having glasses. Um, I'm 50 years old, I'm married, and... Um, I enjoy doing podcasting because I love being able to tell how I feel about things and hopefully I can get followers to, uh, you know, talk to me and engage and stuff and see what happens from there. And yes, I am not going to apologize for that because I've got heart problems and stuff and I'm slowly taking care of myself at the same time. So if, um, basically if I'm slurring or anything that I apologize I've been having problems kind of speaking because of that but uh, other than that please be patient like I said I this is my first time even doing this and I'm having to readjust and adjust all that stuff but, yeah. anyway my podcast is under Lady Red capital L A D Y capital R E D I've already done several episodes and I'm doing F videos and uh, I can talk about anything except politics. I don't, no, no, no. Um, the only way I would say anything good about the politics is um, I voted for Barack Obama because he was the first uh, African American male to be voted for president. So that's why I did it because he's the first Amer- African American male. Um, a lot of people don't don't like him, don't trust him. Over. I thought he did a pretty good job. Yeah, he may have screwed up some and everything else, but he's a human being. Everybody screws up. Um, I talk about all kinds of things. I talk about um, just about anything. I mean, if you ask me a question, then maybe I can answer it for you or whatever. Um, I would like some honest, uh, constructive criticism. Um, I, like I said, I'm still learning this. And um, I am in no way, shape, or form an influencer. Wow, I actually said that first for, for, for a change. <laughs> um, I may cuss a little bit here and there, and I don't mean to. I apologize, and I hope that doesn't get me banned. But like I said, I'm 50 years old. I'm going to cuss sometimes without even thinking about it because that's just how I am. I love learning. I love to teach if I'm able to. Um, if there's something I don't know anything about, I will literally ask, hey, can you explain that to me? Or can you show me how this is done? Or was this about anything, you know? Um, I um, was in an abusive marriage, and um, he was my caregiver. But, um, sorry, that's the TV. Background noise for me. Um, I have been through a lot in my life. And uh, some some of the choices I made, I'm not proud of. But that's how you grow. That's how you learn. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping that um, I get better at this. I love talking and everything else. I'm not too good with people, person, person sometimes because I if I get if I feel a bad vibe from anybody, I can't do it with them because I feel uncomfortable talking to them about anything. But if me and someone clicked like that, 
oh, I could talk for hours with that person. I mean, I love having a good laugh. I love it's good sense of humor. We crack jokes, um, you know, kind of push each other's buttons just a little bit without going overboard. Um, it's crazy. Um, <clears throat> like I said, my first time, so please excuse, please be patient with me, excuse me, and everything else. Um, I'm having problems with my mic. I don't know if the mic I've got is actually working or not, so I'm looking at getting new equipment, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to get new equipment because I guess apparently the microphone I've got isn't get my voice out there. And my thing, my audio is as high as it goes. So I think it's my microphone that's just not up to par. Uh, yeah, I've seen uh, microphones online, whether the bigger ones with more uh, equipment to enhance the um, experiment, the experience. So yeah, I'm looking into doing that. But I've been doing some audio work. I've been doing some videos. I've got someone who is already uh, a promoter, and um, they are currently working on my stuff. And um, I just applied, I guess, for subscriptions so I can start earning them. And I gotta wait for that to clear and all that before they before it says, okay, you can start earning subscriptions. I love doing this so much that I am planning on doing this all the time when um, I'm not dashing or when um, my husband's not home. He knows I do this. He doesn't care. He just does not want to be a part of it because he says it's my business. He doesn't want anybody to know what he's doing stuff, and I can understand that. Marriage sometimes is hard. Sometimes mm, um, we know a lot of people who are married who are in relationships, common law marriages, yada, yada, yada. Um, Yes, marriage is very hard. Trust me. Um, I am glad I'm not with my last my ex because it's he's he's not even worth it. Um, I love animals, so I'm looking to maybe getting a small lap dog, maybe a small cat. Um, I did have a a sweet sweet girl named Sassy. I mean, me and her took to each other just like that. It was on my birthday. A couple, some of my friends knew I would, I've would been looking for a cat because um, I kind of foster. Um, I kind of foster sat uh, a beautiful cat named Mufasa, and um, I had him for maybe a month because as humans, um, we're trying to get things t- taken care of and all that, so. I'm like, okay, cool. So I foster sat the baby, and he got so used to being indoors, he didn't want to leave. So his foster, so his human mama had to come in and get him. And they knew that I was sad because I loved having that little guy around. So Sassy was born into a litter. They, you know, how I guess how uh, kids had to be, you know, worse than they had to be weaned. So. As soon as the, I was told that there was a present for me over at my uh, friend's house. Well, she's like my sister. I've known her for over 30 years. Um, I went to her place. And one of my other friends had this beautiful um, calories on me. Oh, my God. She won my heart. As soon as I walked into her, walked into my friend's house, I saw the cat. And I'm like, that's a beautiful cat. And they said, you want her? You can have her. She's your birthday present. Oh my god, I cried. I melted. Oh my god. They said her name is Sassy. And I'm like, she don't worry about it. I've never changed her name because it fit her to a T. So they gave me the cap and I went to my mom's. And my mom's like, before she saw Sassy, she goes, Yeah, your friends over there said they had a kitten for you. And I'm like, this little girl. And my mom just about cried too. She goes, Oh my god, she's gorgeous. She is so beautiful. You guys, if you're on Facebook, I think you've seen pictures of Sassy. Um, there's a picture on my page with a cat in the window. The darker looking calico one, that's Sassy. I have that pen to where nobody can do where That picture can never disappear from my uh, profile page. That was my baby girl. She was the love of my life. I had her 
for a year, two years, two years, two. I can't remember. All I know is I had her for a while. She wound up having babies, and uh, I named them Star, Callie, and uh, Cole at first because I thought uh, Cole was a boy. I checked it out. Cole turned out to be a little girl, so I changed her name to Trixie. And I swear, Trixie took almost after her mama. Trixie was a beautiful, solid, gray, silver color. Gorgeous little girl. I mean, she had her mom's attitude and everything else. I tell you what, oh boy. But um, she was a beautiful little girl. Oh my gosh, she was so beautiful. The star was pure black and Kelly was pure orange. And, uh, you know, they, as soon as they got old enough, they started going in and out the windows. Um, they started exploring around. If I need to look, what I had to do is look at my bedroom window. Look on the, um, Fences were uh, that surrounded our uh, surrounded the house at the time, but uh, we had iron fences stuff, and they had little ledges with um, two babies playing around, exploring. And then they got tired enough, and if it was nice enough outside, they would fall asleep. I didn't care; they were right there where I could see them. And um, <sighs> I missed them, and I had. A wonderful few years with them, but when the place was sold, Amarillo Hotel here in Colorado Springs was sold. I could not find any place at all that would accept them without costing a fortune along with the rent. So, and I'm kicking myself to the stakes. I should have kept Sassy and we had the others rehomed. But at the time, I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't want Sassy stuck in my car. I didn't want her stuck someplace and not be able to get out and enjoy her life and all that. So, I called it. Um, Cat Safe Haven Place in Manchester Springs. I why well, didn't call my I I sent them a message. Hold on, just a minute. Hi. Hey, I just had them talking to one of the guys who's on the committee, the uh, client committee here. You let me know that if there was a meeting at the community corrections, whatever that, that's held. But uh, a couple of people from here with uh, the Sanderson was there. And uh, I guess I was talking about because of the way they're discriminating against me. Oh. Yeah, I, I really get a great caseworker. Good. So, but she really, I, from what I was saying, you know that they really went to bat for me. And well, for me, he said, uh, Miss Mullen Scott uh, could get fired. Or well, he said they're going to be getting fired. But either way, I just wanted to call and let you know. Okay. All right. All right. I'll, I'll find out more about it Monday. Okay, we talk about more than two. Okay, that way we'll know what's going on. Yeah, but uh, just uh, try to have that uh, matrix study. I I will. It, it's easier, right? Yeah. <laughs> have you haven't started it yet? No, I'm getting ready to here in a few minutes. Okay. That, that, that's your punishment. <laughs> 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 All right, you booger. Love you. I love you too. I just want to let you know that there's people here going to bat for me. I didn't even know it. Good. So, I love you. I love you too. I'll see you in the morning, babe, okay? All right. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody, but... um. That was my husband, and uh, he doesn't know I'm doing this, so he's in a big surprise. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was him, him calling me, let me know how things are going and stuff. So if you heard some of that conversation, don't do anything about it. Don't do, you know, whatever. It's, um, I, I can say I'm still trying to figure out how to um, figure things out, you know, like how to mute or whatever. So anyway... Ooh, that froze for a minute. Anyway, I love animals. You know, if I had my way, I would buy a big island, big island, and take all the stray animals, the pet babies that nobody wants, and I would take care of them on an island. Okay, I would make sure they had all the shots. <laughs> I would make sure they have all the food, everything. I would make sure there's babies so happy that they didn't want to leave. Okay, that's how much I love animals. So yes, I'm kind of in the market for a small dog. You know. 
not one of those really t- tiny ones. Oh my god, I love dogs and stuff, but mm. but you know, a small dog or a cat, whatever. As long as they're fixed, I'll be good. You know, because um, getting them fixed is expensive. Trust me, it's expensive. But um, anyway, I had to rehome all my babies because uh, when the Emerald was sold and we all had to find another place to live, I looked good ground for several weeks at all the places that I thought I could afford. But they said either no animal or you had to pay so much a month for your pets. Sorry, I'm not paying anything per month to have my babies with me. I will pay a few game followers for, you know, my podcast and for this and all that. But um, I love doing this. I really do. And it gives me something to do. You know, it gives me, you know, a, a chance to talk about things that's important to me. And I'm hoping that there are people out there that would love to just go back and forth. You know, we could talk about anything except politics. Nope. 